Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. And before we get to today's test, which is my new colors for Vallejo Liquid Series, I want to go over some stuff that just came in. Uh, these are the jars I mentioned in my community area that fit on the super cheap, inexpensive uh, airbrush from Harbor Freight. I tried a few jars. I mean, it looked like it would fit to me, but it didn't. But it ended up fitting on these Mr. Hobby ones. Uh, I tried that and it worked, so I ordered some of these empty jars. I think they were like a dollar fifty a piece. So you just so I can show you. Take the hose off. Because we gotta trim the hose. And there it is. Right? So this is the jar that it fits on. Unfortunately you gotta trim the hose, but eh, you're not gonna fill the whole jar up anyway. So just trim the hose. Siphon tube. And you got yourself glass jars, right? Buck fifty, buck fifty. There's six bucks right there. You got four jars. And you're good to go. I, I ordered five as an even five, but order what you think you need. Anyway, no more plastic. Switch over to the glass. I want to start with that. All right. I'll put a link in where I got those. So let's get this out of here. And these just came in. I'm going to go over these in more detail. Uh, these Moto paints, I finally found a distributor. They're from Taiwan. They're, they're copies of gaia paints as you can you can kind of tell and uh, i tried them once i had a, one or two but jar and, and i loved them but they're so hard to find and i found a place in canada and that took like three months to get during the pandemic and and i finally uh thanks to a subscriber told me of a distributor here in america and i got some i called the company they gave me a coupon i'll go over these very soon i'm not going to go into detail now i'll do it uh, later in the week when i when i uh spray these we test them and when you see when you see uh, spray consistency on it, that means it's ready to go, uh, airbrush ready out of the jar. There's even the airbrush logo. Whereas these are just your regular lacquers. You got a thin, you know, and aluminum. I I, I got some great colors. This is chainmail, I think. No armor, iron. Look at that. So and there's some clears. There's super fine gold. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy showing you guys now because the video is gonna come up the second half of the week. There's a bunch in these boxes. This is special. This is a plate chrome and plated gold set and with this believe it or not you even they even give you the black base the shiny black base the gold plating and the chrome and look at this a buffing cloth how cool is that and uh instructions are in english so which is rare for something out of taiwan or japan or china here we go Here's another one. Pro, they have the Pro Mix series. Spray consistent. Oh, let me hold it up. I've always liked these turquoise blue colors, so I, I grab them whenever I can. And a couple updates. I got some new paints. I grabbed what I, I found a source for these going out of print model masters. So I got all these rare colors. Uh, white primer, which I've never seen from them. Look at this one. Lacquer primer. And I have a couple of color shifts here, too. Let me show you those. Look at this. This is blue chair flip and blue clair flip, uh, purple clair flip. Look at that. I mean, I've, I've rarely seen that, if ever. Um, pearl yellow. Uh, light, um, what is this? Bright light blue. Dark brown metallic. Can you see the metallic in it? Pearl orange. Uh, gray metallic. One of my favorite colors from Tamiya. So... I grabbed these when I could. They weren't cheap, like four change a piece, but I, you're not going to see them anymore. And they were all good. I test, I tried them, and they're all good. They're not dried up or anything. So that was a quickie there. And I, I really searched high and low for these few here. Let me show you this before we get going. 214, I've been missing a long time for Mr. Color, Mr. Metal Color, Dark Iron. Look at that. That's a color I've been searching out. And this is from their little armory in Japan. These model guns, which I don't think are possible in america the little ak's the miniature guns are about i don't i went six scale i think and they're very popular i don't even think you can export them and um but these are colors for the guns uh that color matched and i don't know why they covered up the name of the color here but one's like uh this is an, an uh, uh i think it matches this like an iron metal color and this is a black pearl gun metal color anyway i just like those metal colors there's only three in the lineup and then the other one's wood for the stock the wooden stock on the gun but uh, i didn't want that i just wanted these metal colors 
So I finally found those, at least two of them. There's one left. And here, from Gaia, it's part of their expensive lineup, I call it. You know, I tested the $30 bottle of Chrome. This is a $25 bottle of premium silver plate. And um, supposedly great results. And the other one did give me great results at $30, bucks, so the $5 difference. But not that cheap at 25 bucks. This is silver plate, and I've been reading up on how to get it done. And I'll be doing this video really soon because I want to see how this looks. And that's all. Anyway, for today's video, we're going to do two new colors I got in for my Vallejo Liquid Series. Um, I rarely seen these because I have white gold, which I tested, which almost looks like silver. But now I finally found silver from Liquid Silver. And Liquid Copper for Copper. Just two colors I've rarely seen. So we're going to test both of these. We'll go over different colored base spoons. This stuff doesn't need to be thinned. It's you, it's just shot straight out of the bottle. It's pre-thinned. You can you see how thin it is here. So we're going to test both of these. I hope they got good results. I'll let them dry. I'll put them in the dehydrator so we can dry them for the test. And maybe I'll put a clear coat on them too. But uh, I'm going to be using my, hold on, my Mr. Hobby GSI Creos, my ProCon 270 with a three, three millimeter uh, needle. That's what we're going with. We got about 15 PSI, and uh, that's it. Let's see how this stuff looks. Head over to the booth, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. All right, guys, first up, liquid silver. Um, let's try it over gray. Now, this isn't shiny like chrome. I mean, this, this probably looks more uh, of a dull, according to what I've done so far with their other lineup. Good looking already. Not bad. Good quality. I know this stuff dries a little different than how it goes on, so... I'm not going to pass judgment yet. But there you go. It'll look better under the other light, but uh, that's over primer. Let's try it over black. Not bad. A little, little bit of a shine to it. This isn't uh, typical, uh, I'm flash uh, drying it. This isn't typical Vallejo. Um, it's not water-based. It even says on the jar, do not thin with water because it'll rust because it has actual metal in it. Right, we'll let that dry. Not much of a difference, but we'll see. Uh, let's put it over, how about plain plastic? Plain plastic. Open up the needle a little bit. There we go. I read on this site, I don't think it needs a primer. So let's try it on just plastic like this. Not bad. I mean, it goes it, it goes on nice. Not bad. I like it. All right. Well, that's black. That's primer. That's uh, and um, just plastic. All right. Well, let's try the the copper out, and we'll see the difference. So far, it, it goes on nice. It looks good. All right, guys. Next up is the copper. Let's see if it's as good as the silver went on. Uh, I forgot to use my black spoons. I had a little batch of black plastic spoons I got. So let's try that for our base. Whoa. Oh, this goes on. This goes on nice. Wow. 
beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is better than the... Let's try bare plastic. Wow. I probably have it turned up a little too much, but it, it's, it's spraying good. Very forgiving. It doesn't seem to... Wow. Oh, this is this is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Oh, my goodness. I don't have to go in. That's it. I'm done. Wow. I did black. What we got to put it on, guys? Let's pull over gray. I don't think... I, I think it covers anything. It's pretty, pretty pigment rich, it seems. I'll do a few spoons because I'm going to put some uh, metal varnish on one of them. Wow. I, I'm, it's a real good color. Wow. Very impressive. Wow. Um, all right, guys. I'll let these dry. I'll put them in the, the uh, dehydrator for about an hour. Then I'll come back. We'll put some clear coat on one over two of them and uh, we'll check the results. So far, impressed. All right guys, here we go. I got it cured for a while, about an hour or two in the uh, dehydrator. And uh, we're gonna put some metal varnish on a couple of them and we'll compare the results. Um, this, you have to shake well and you gotta thin it a little bit. It needs about five to 10 drops for the cup to thin it out. But uh, not that you can see much going on, but Let's do it anyway. I'll put this in the uh, dehydrator too. I'll cure this. That's it for that. Ooh, shine it right up. All right, we'll get the copper. This stuff came out great. I'm very happy with this. That's it. All right, look at that. All right, I'll go put this in the dehydrator, let it dry, we'll see the results. Very impressive stuff, so far anyway. We'll see when it's all cured. See you back at the bench. All right, guys, we're back with the results here at the bench, and uh, I'm quite pleased uh, with the results of this, uh, particularly the copper. But uh, I, I uh, put some metal varnish on two of them, as you saw in the video. But uh, the main thing that's come across here is is uh it looks like you don't need primer at all or a base so um the silver this is over a black base this is over the gray primer <laughs> there's no difference this is over a white plastic spoon with nothing so there's no difference i'll get you a close-up in a second i gotta change the the lens uh, settings when I do a close-up for you guys and this is over black plastic just to, just a black plastic spoon that I used so if you're building a kit with say you know it's black plastic or a couple of my Gundams have a dark blue you could probably just spray right over it if you're gonna you know use this on a Gundam it's just beautiful it, it just it laid out it, it covered beautiful it, it looks beautiful it's a great color and I think this is really cheap I gotta look it up again but it was like six bucks or I don't even know if it was eight bucks might have been, it was well under 10 bucks, I know that. Um, let me give you a close-up here so you guys can see. What you got to do is you got to kind of zoom in here. Let me see if this works. See the texture, how nice? I mean, it doesn't matter what I show you because it's going to be the same. So, but um, the copper is really nice. Actually, before we get there, let me show you. This is it with the metal varnish. I have, you have to thin this. Shake it. Thin it with their airbrush thinner. Yeah, I put about eight drops in the cup for uh, the airbrush. But look at the difference. Look how nice. And uh, this stuff is really, really durable. Maybe you can see. Yeah, you can see the tone difference there. See it? Really good. This was uh, this was over a white spoon. All right, this is a white spoon, so that's a good comparison to hold those two up. But like I said, there's, there's no difference. I mean, look at this. This is over black plastic. It, there's barely a difference. Let's try the close-up again if we can do that. Yep, that's it. 
I pull it to this side because this is the angle that I'm sitting on near the camera. Now check out the copper, how nice. Look at this, guys. Again, here we go. This is over all clad black base. These are the camera shot here. I'll get you the close up in a second. This is over white plastic. I didn't bother with uh, gray primer on this, but look at this. I mean, that's white plastic. That's all clad black gloss base. There's no, there's no difference. It just covers. This is over the black spoon. All right. Look at that. The slight difference. If you've seen it in person. That's hard to tell. There's, there's a slight difference, but almost not enough to matter. Let's get you a close up here. If I can pull these all together. Look at that. Isn't it's just a wonderful color? I, I was blown away by it. More so than the other ones that I've tested. I'm gonna see if I can get a few more of these darker colors or the darker golds. I wish they made more in the lineup. They don't make as many as all clad in colors. It's mostly just different shades of gold. But I'm going to try and see what else is out there to test. This is it with the gloss. Again, the metal varnish. Look at that. That is even and smooth. All right, let's see if we can get a close-up here. Beautiful, huh? And that's over the black plastic. One coat and then uh, one coat of uh, metal varnish. Now, if you want to compare the two, let's use a black spoon without... And one with the metal varnish. There you go. Look at that. I'll put still shots at the end of the video. But uh, that's it. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm glad I tested them. Uh, I'm glad that they popped up at, uh, where I was shopping. And uh, I grabbed them because I hadn't seen these two colors before. In particular, the copper. But uh, And I'm glad I did. Look, it's one of my favorites so far. Boy, is that great. But uh, that's it. These are the two gloss ones. And these are, it looks like the conclusion is they're phenomenal and they don't need a primer. And they, they gloss nice with the metal varnish. There's no worries. Um, I'd go out and grab these. I would grab the whole lineup. I'm going to see if I can get the rest. I have a bunch here now. Um, what, which ones do I have? Let me see, guys. You see, I have I still have the, the white gold, the old red gold and gold. I mean, it's old gold. There's tons of golds to choose from. I don't know why they went that route. I, I wish they went with titanium and magnesium and all those colors. Gunmetal, that would have been awesome. But uh, they they go on well. They go on really good. Um, you don't have to thin them. And um, straight out of the bottle. And uh, they're not even expensive. But anyway, I'm rambling on a bit. Uh, I love them. I'd go out and grab these. Um, in particular, this copper. It just blows me away. I, I don't know why. I should say the, the, the silver, too, because that's perfect, too. You know, it really is. But uh, anyway, that's it, guys. That's it for this one. Um, we'll be uh, shooting another video soon. I'm going to do some of these moto paints. Um, I'm not going to do all the motos at once because, you know, I got standard colors in here. I got these uh, these metal colors here. Then I got this chrome kit here. So I'll break it down in the colors, metals, and these chromes is what I'm going to do. And then uh, we got a clear coating system here, too, we got to do. And uh, I got a bunch more to go. I'm going to show uh, a few more how-tos uh, coming up uh, later in the week, too. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks a lot. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. That helps quite a bit. And uh, you guys have been great. And uh, we will see you in the next video.